do that. And I set up the PlayStation. So I'm, I was playing yesterday. I was playing Subnautica, which is pretty fun. But um, I'm all new to streaming on that now. But yeah. That's awesome. I gotta get a job. <laughs> yeah, I started working at a coffee shop. Yeah, how you doing? How you like that? Oh, it's all right. I like DoorDash way better. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not. It's just like a little family-owned coffee shop, and they're like really like weird how they do things, and yeah. a lot of it's like illegal, honestly. Yeah. And. Um, like they just don't have very many employees yeah but the people that are employed there they're like fucking ass kissers and oh yeah the popularity show yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'm not gonna like quit right away. I'm gonna give it a while, but yeah, I don't know if it's for me. Yeah, it's a little annoying how they do things, and I did explode an espresso shot all over myself. Oh no. It was my mistake. Like they told me, like I I watched someone else do it the day before. Yeah. And they're like, "This is what not to do." Prime example of like first first hand watch of like what not to do because this is this is what happens is it explodes. Yeah. But it's okay. It happens all the time. But the next day, I did the same thing. Oh no. Um. Did and I was like you? covered head to toe. Oh. Kind of a little bit. I wasn't like you know didn't yeah. leave marks or anything, but. Yeah. It was it was definitely hot. Yeah. Oh jeez. What do you mean they do things illegal? Oh, you might not want to tell me yet. Oh no, I'm, I don't care. If they like so they don't have very many employees, and there's this one girl who's like just total fucking kiss ass dude. Like she's just like my first day of training. Like she didn't want to slow down and like show me anything at all. She was just like going so fast and just like almost like a show off. Like she like showing you off like she's so good you yeah. know she's, yeah like that's not helpful to me at all like good for right. you i'm so so happy for you you're so good at this yeah. but um <laughs> uh, if you want a day off bitch you better show yeah me you what gotta to do right. you know <laughs> <laughs> and um so and i told her i mean not just like that i didn't call her bitch but i like told her you yeah know, like, hey you gotta slow down for me like I, I need to know what you're doing here yeah <laughs> and then I, um Go ahead. Oh, well, I was gonna say I um, usually take like a little handheld recorder thing with me, and record everything on the first day because you just get so nervous and you're trying to do everything that they want mm -hmm. you to do, and you know it's just always better to have something with you to to listen to when you get home. That way you can kind of go over mm -hmm. again. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty smart because I've got this little booklet that they gave me that they want back like as soon as possible of like all their recipes. Yeah, there's special yeah. recipes and stuff that I need to be memorizing, and like oh, geez, it yeah. is a lot more complicated than I thought. Like I've only ever ordered like a a blended chai with shots in there. I yeah. all I ever get for coffee, I've never and I'm never <laughs> a blended chai. Yeah, no, never. <laughs> uh, it's oh, kind yeah. of like a chai, vanilla chai latte kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not but, even sure um, what I am. Is it's kind of like tea, yeah. yeah. Almost, it kind of like if you've never had it before, it's kind of like a strong cinnamony, like, but it's a little bit different. Uh -huh. Like a tea cinnamon. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I really like it. And yeah. it's all I've ever gotten. And I've never ventured out. And so, like, just there's so many new things and, like, how many pumps of syrup for what size cup and, and you know, the order of when to put the shots and the ice in. And wow. it's really yeah. a lot more complicated than I ever thought it was. Like, you could fuck up a drink so easy. Yeah. And not really even realizing it. Yeah. And so, like, I'm the type of person that I, I will ask a lot of questions. Like, if I'm still learning and I'm unsure, yeah, I'm going to ask you the whole process as I'm going through to make sure I do it right. Rather right. do that than waste your product right. and fuck it up and have to remake it. Exactly. But they seem like they're annoyed with that. Yeah. They're annoyed with me, like, having to walk me through every That's drink. So stupid, yeah. I know. I'm be, like, you should be like, give me a week at least. Jeez, people. I know. Yeah, I've only worked there. Uh, two and a half days yeah. kind of one day I just kind of watched them and yeah. two days I've been like making drinks or like trying to yeah but I can tell that the girl the show off girl I know she complained I think because they messaged me and was like you really need to um try to memorize that book take your you know the days you're not working try to memorize that book it's really important yeah and so I know that that girl said something about it but 
Wow. Anyways, the illegal shit, she, like, the show off girl day, she works, like, every single day that they're open. She works way too many hours than she's supposed to. She opens and closes. She's there all the time. Oh, wow. Um, and she's pretty much, like, their only, like, biggest employee besides the family members that are working there. Yeah. And um, I watched her when she was leaving one day. She was like, oh, I didn't clock in. I'm not supposed to clock in today, right? And they're like, yeah, yeah, don't clock in. Um, oh my gosh, so she's cheating the and books. Then, she, oh yeah, and then she oh just took gosh. what they owed her out of the register. Yeah. What? And then she was like, she was like, oh, this is this is okay, right? And they're like, oh yeah, 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 you can take more, you deserve it. Oh I'm honey, like, what no. What the fuck is happening? No. Yeah, that's that's yeah, against that's the law. That's straight up. For Hell sure. No. They're supposed to be paying then, taxes um, on that shit. And... Oh yeah. They definitely I mean, are cheating the system and fucking doing illegal shit. And then I, would, I was I working a seven-hour day. I would say just something small like, are you get paid under the table? <laughs> I mean, because yeah, that, I mean, that right there is... Once know, I look get a little bit more comfortable with her, because she's definitely bitchy. Like, yeah. she... Yeah. She she uses her like little customer service voice on me, and I'm like, I'm trying to be friendly and make friends, you know? Yeah, she's absolutely. like, I came in to get a coffee the other day, and she acted like I didn't even work there. Like, she didn't even know me. Like, okay, have a great day. I was like... Oh, okay, geez. you yeah. too, I hate bitch. people like that. <laughs> I know. Like, don't use your customer service voice on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking bitchy. Yeah. But, um, and then I was working a seven-hour day, which was just like, it was like eight to three or something. Yeah. And I was like, so how does that work? Like, do, what, do I have a break or lunch or something? And she's like, okay, hey, well, this is the manager. Yeah. She's like, you could either clock out for 30 minutes and take your break, or you can not clock out and just take like a 10-minute break. What? I was like, mm, pretty sure it's the law that if you work over six hours, you yeah. have to you have to clock out and take a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So, you are. It's, it's the that's the laws, but yeah. So I got one ten minute break all day long because <laughs> like oh I was like, God. what? I'm getting I get paid for that. If I get if I'm getting paid, I don't mind like you know. Yeah, but like, still, you can't I don't, be. I don't really. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of. Yeah. No, no, the end of the day, I was like, I should have took a lunch because, like, yeah. I'm beat the fuck now. Yeah, like, I, exactly. yes, I'm not home, doing okay. Right. No, you can't do that. Yeah. I mean, hell, so. I, I would, I would, I would turn him in. I mean, in all, in all actuality, I really would. I'd be like, no. I mean, quietly, of course, but I mean, yeah, they're it's probably gonna know. I mean, but that's no the, the town that I live in. There's no like turning somebody in quietly. Like you know, word goes no, around, no. and they're yeah. you know what they they work for this thing. It's the Grange, and like the Grange is where you would go to report somebody in the town. Right, it's like the little you know what I mean. So they work for them, and so they're not gonna you know get told on and not not hear about it. Right, you know, especially since the people they work for are all their friends, buddy, buddy, they know for years and. And the girl, um, the owner's daughter is who I'm good friends with and who, like, offered me the job and stuff. And so yeah, yeah. it's hard. But I'm really comfortable with her. And I'm like, well, first of all, too, that they I only work one day. And, or No, it was like a, a half training day and then a full day yeah. of work. And then they sent out checks. Well, minimum wage is fifteen fifty, yeah. California. And they um, they only paid me 15 what? Um, yeah. And then they only paid me for um, one day of work, and they got my social security wrong. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "What the fuck, dude? What is going on here?" Yeah, yeah, I'd watch. I'd watch them. That, and I would count every freaking penny because that right there. Oh yeah, that for sure. Like I am. Trying to, they're cooking the books. That's not. That's it. I mean, like not even turning someone in like locally. It's more like federally. You know? Oh yeah. <clears> yeah. And that that's a lot more hush hush than than local. But I mean, you know, you get your W two. Just make sure it's you know keep all your times that you you know lock it log in and out or mm -hmm. whatever. Make sure you keep that a book and keep them all. Yeah, I have to keep track of it myself because they how they do is like you clock it out in the register and then you put your like little receipt in the register. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I'd make a photocopy yeah, of that little receipt then because yeah, or, or do it twice, you know. Or yeah, print, print it out twice or something. But yeah, that's. Yeah. And then another thing too that pissed me off is that like when I first started, 
um, they were like, well, you don't, like, tra trainees don't make tips until you hold your weight. And okay. I was like, uh, okay, yeah, like, I understand that. And they're like, and whoever you're working with obviously has seniority over you. Um, they've been here longer, so they get to decide, like, when or how much or, you know, they're, that you're holding your weight. They can share with you. What? Um, what? Yeah. So no. that girl, that bitch, right. Keely. She didn't share yeah, anything, that, huh? No, no, no. Yeah. She's fucking hella greedy, you know? It's like, and I, you know, that's another thing, too. Is like, she doesn't, like, train or teach me anything or, like, show me how to do anything. She'll just do it all herself. Yeah. I'm like, you're never going to let me hold my weight, you know? Right, right. Yeah, it sounds like you would do better with DoorDash. No, yeah. The only thing is DoorDash is inconsistent. You know, I'll go out for three hours and it can sometimes be just like a waste of waste yeah. of time. Yeah. And um, I'll be out like all day long and I haven't got shit, you know. And some days I'll go out for two hours and make $80. So it's not consistent. Like, it's not going to pay the bills kind of thing. Right. It's nice for a little extra side money. Right. But it's not going to like, you know. Yeah. Well, what about um, what about your business that you were looking, what, thinking about doing? Your your de decorating party planning. Yeah, yeah. The girl that works at the coffee shop that I'm close friends with, the daughter, um, she just had a bridal shower, and you know those Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse like um, oh shit, those Minnie Mouse like centerpieces I did, I showed you pictures yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let her take those, and she offered to pay me for them. But she knows a lot of people, especially oh, in town. Yeah. Like she knows a lot of people, so I was like, just please, just spread the word for me. Like I'm glad they got a second use; they've been in my storage. Um, just please spread the word for me. And I've already gotten two people that have asked me to, about making something for birthday parties or something. Oh, that's so awesome. that's really what it is around here. It's just like word of word mouth, mouth, and like yep. you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm working need, on that. You know but, what you need to do? You need to get a little um, label. Um, something that you know what i mean and you need to go ahead and register mm -hmm. uh it's not much i think it's like 25 bucks or something to get a business license yeah um, get that business license and get it registered so that way you have uh you're so you, you'll be protected basically mm -hmm. you know in case that someone wants to come back and try to sue you for some bullshit you know they wouldn't sue you they'd sue you yeah and then you find it um, <clears throat> but no, but get a no, little label. So little whenever label, you so pass something out like that, 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 it'll have your little, little have your little logo on it, on it with like, with mm -hmm. like you know, your name or the you know, uh, uh, phone number. Phone that way people can yeah, uh, like little them. business cards or stickers or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. And then also, I need to find out about getting um, after I do all that. I gotta find out about getting like insurance on my bounce house. On what? Because I have a bounce house, like a toddler bounce house for oh, like a little yeah. kid birthday party. Yeah. And I can rent that out too. Oh, I can yeah. rent that out for like a couple hundred dollars a day. Yeah. How much is the insurance though? Ooh. That's a oh, not, not much. On a, no, it's not. That's not that much. I've talked to a couple people who have like a jump house. Um, like that's all they do is they rent out jump houses and like tables and chairs oh, for parties. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not that much. Well, see, there you go. It's I mean, way less than, like, car insurance. Oh, wow, yeah. Kind of like, it's almost kind of like renter's insurance. You know how, you know, like, I, for my house, yeah. I have renter's insurance for my dogs and stuff. Yeah. And I think I pay, like, less than $20 a month. Yeah, yeah. I got to know how that's much a really different good it idea, is. Though, too, because that could be part of your whole you know, party uh, business. Yeah, and I can just slowly that's grow awesome. it, you know? yeah. Yeah, it might take a little time, but yeah, I, th I think that's what would be perfect for you. Yeah, eventually I want to make it to where like I'm a full, full on party plan where like they can hire me to like you find know. the cake and right. yeah, all of it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Weddings. I always thought that would be fun for weddings too, but <clears throat> weddings are a little much for me. I've actually never even been to a full actual wedding. Yeah. So like I don't, you know. Yeah, my sister's was. But birthday parties, ridiculous. especially kids' birthday parties. I mean, and it's so entailed too, which is something I like. I like the whole process of having so much. You need a wife. Oh, she Here. sounds older. Oh yeah, she talks oh. a lot. Right, no more knows. little baby. Oh. You're crying under the table. What? Why? What's what? wrong? You're gonna fall asleep under that table, huh? 
<laughs> I saw you. What you're like she doing it. Yeah. She goes, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go sit too? Yeah. Nope. Right. I don't want it. I don't want it, Mom. Well, it's right here. No, I'm gonna have chips. Oh shit! Get back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh shit no! <laughs> you make so quick. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about well, all these things you could do with your business. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I like know. One it's of them, exciting my if sister, I can get going. Yeah, my sister had a store um, out here in Vegas. It was a, <clears throat> it was called Painting Place, and the yeah. original store came from like back east. But um, I was trying to think of ways you could incorporate this into it. But it, they had uh, they sold little kids furniture. And uh, mm -hmm. so the really uh, nice furniture, really nice which furniture, you could, which they had a, um, they an artist an on artist site, and the artist, and the artist would um, personalize it with their name, right? Oh, and that's she, cool. Yeah, and she could do, like, yeah, um, drawings of, like, Disney characters or whatever, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you, there was a board that they could come in and say, okay, well, she likes, you know, butterflies, and, you know, this is her name, whatever. So, um, and then they would, the artist would personalize each little piece with their name. And, and that's so cool. Yeah, yeah it was really, really cute and um we always uh, we didn't have like a bag that we gave him we wrapped it with like this clear cellophane kind of paper and it's uh and put like bows on on it you know what i mean and the ribbon stuff and then curled the ribbons and so it looked like kind of like a present instead of a mm -hmm. you know you know, just a purchase, just a purchase. but um, it but, was. Um, I'm it telling you, that business turned around after the first year. The first year. Um, I was um, working it, I was the manager there basically, and um, it started it turned profit after its first year. And, and let me tell you what, a lot, of, a lot of it was word of mouth. I mean, like, um, we sold like these little and we did little uh, parties too. Like, um, we had these little lawn chairs, these little plastic, little kid lawn chairs that um, the parents would come, you know, because they want to give their, you know, uh, kids' friends a gift for coming to their birthday party, you know. So they'd come in and they would have a list of names and they bought like 10 of these little chairs and, and each one was personalized for them. So if, if they were, you know, things like that got out quick. Yeah. Yeah. So you might want to look into getting maybe once you get it going a little more, uh, an artist that could personalize things too, as far as uh, the decorations go. Mm hmm. I don't know if you. you yeah, know. that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like I need to, like yeah, because that's like one thing is like personalization. It's like usually I just order everything on Amazon and make it go together, like color themes and you yeah. know, things like that. But yeah. if people could like print names and stuff on things, it would be way cuter. Yeah. 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 Work with someone or just pay them by the, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. But <clears throat> a lot of stuff you can do online too and just print it out on labels. But yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm excited for you. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll go, it'll go somewhere. Just really much, you know, spread the word. I need to probably just like I don't know why I don't have like the confidence to put myself out there and just like make a make a page because um, I have a lot of people that like that know me and if I were to make a page and like find a name and like post all the pictures of what I've done, a lot of people would share it. Right. And like that would definitely go pretty far yeah yeah, yeah it yeah. would i mean kids kids these kids, days i mean are the money makers <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah but so she's sick but not so sick anymore sick and she's all better and well besides there's nothing else she just got a really nasty nose today yeah I try to do that gross thing. I don't know if you've ever seen it. What gross thing? It's so gross. I literally gagged myself on TikTok. I was like, I'll never do that. And here I am with my baby. And oh, she's like so clogged up. Yeah, the, the sucker. So you put, well, no, I have, oh. I've used the sucker before. That's fine. You yeah. know, no boogers, nothing go in your mouth, but it's just yeah. air. 
but um, I assume you put your one finger over one nose, uh-huh. the one's not as clogged, and then you um, blow through their mouth, and the boogers come just oh flying God. out of their nose. <laughs> so, like, they can't blow their nose at this stage, so that's no. another way to do it. You know, it's through their mouth, and yeah. Um, yeah, but the boogers go all over your face. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because your face is right there in their mouth, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could put a, oh, yeah. a, a little cloth right there. Or a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something. Paper right there. She, <laughs> she wasn't even letting me try at first. <clears throat> yeah, but you don't, the, the sucker thing, though, you don't, she doesn't like it, does she? Because it usually pulls the phlegm from their throat, and it's like, they gag. Um, yeah. she When she was really little, she used to laugh. Yeah, oh, really? Huh. Yeah, when she was really little, she laughed about it. And then she got a little older, and yeah. But now... She found it somewhere and tore all the pieces apart and we're all going to shoot some pieces of it. And that's just life with a toddler. Yeah, yeah. It's gone, long gone now. Yeah. <laughs> She's almost, she can almost blow out of her nose. She just hasn't figured out yet. She tries to blow through her mouth. Yeah. I'm like trying to teach her. She's almost got it down, but. Poor thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'd never heard of that, but that, that thing seems effective. It's really nasty. <laughs> I watched a video of it on TikTok, and the mom said the same thing. She's like, I've seen this before, and I always said I'd never do it, but when you have a child, yeah, and they you need know that they need help, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, yeah. so here I am. She did it, she's like, what? What? Gagging? And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, oh, no, that's bad. Yeah. But that is what mama is. That's what you gotta do. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'd, n- I'd never honestly, I'd never heard that. Heard of that? <laughs> yeah, it's I can see how it would be really effective. Good. That's kind of yeah, it does. I, mean, I was, the, I was the, gonna the honestly probably, flying out. <laughs> I was gonna vomit if you just said I sucked it out. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, oh god, don't say it. Just don't say I have it. seen, I have seen videos like that. Moms okay. just put their yeah. whole mouth over both nostrils and just suck as hard as they can. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. No, that's not. That's not for me. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, okay. it can go on my cheek a little bit. And I'll yeah, that's, it up, that's... in in my mouth. No, you lost me there. Oh God! Don't throw up. <laughs> she, you just throw up. Okay, good. I think I could though. <laughs> really easy. So let's just get off that subject altogether. Cause... Yeah, really. It's nasty. Yeah, that was. Oh, my eyes are all watering. <laughs> People do. <that. laughs> I mean, I've seen, I've seen like what there's this one star. I can't remember which what it was, but I remember seeing her like feed her baby, um, eat something, chew it up, and then and feed her baby it, like from her mouth. And oh. I'm just like, cause like a bird basically, but uh-huh. and I'm just like, I don't know if I would do that ever. <laughs> just not, humans shouldn't do that. <laughs> you no, know, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily like chew it up. Yeah. So when we were at a restaurant and she wanted a bite or something and I knew that like I didn't have like I didn't, couldn't like cut it up as good I would just right. take a bite of it and like yeah. not like put my saliva and chew it up a bunch yeah, but I would yeah. just take a bite that she could handle and then take it out of my mouth and put it in her mouth yeah, yeah, which some people might think it's disgusting but no, it's no, not no. like a bird chewing it up I would yeah. just get her a bite sized piece from my mouth yeah. <laughs> girl calm down you're good Oh goodness! Yeah, no, that's that's not bad. Right before I got online, we're we're eating, we're eating ranch Doritos, and um, I put one in my mouth. She goes, "I want that one." It was like halfway in my mouth. <laughs> oh, no. She just came up and just ripped it out of my mouth. Oh, no. I'm like, well, all right, okay. <laughs> she wanted that one. She wanted that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know what she said when she came home from surgery? So we live about two and a half hours away. Yeah. Um, 
from where she had surgery and we went the day before and I took her to the San Francisco Zoo oh, nice. and she had so much fun there. It was like I kind bet. of life. Yeah. She was like so much fun. Yeah. And we all actually had a lot of fun actually. Yeah. Brian didn't I go love the monkeys. He was in big shit. Oh, why? What happened? Oh, he broke my fucking window. I had to press charges on him. What? He's, you know, yeah, he's been a fucker lately, man. Oh, no. Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. What's going on with him? He's just... I don't, he, I don't know. He, I think he just doesn't have an outlet. He quit football. Yeah? Why do you quit? Because um, his cousins aren't playing. His cousins are going to school in the town over this year. Yeah. And... He just, yeah, he agreed to at least try it for two weeks. He's like, come on, just please give it two weeks, you know. And I know that you have friends and you're going to end up liking it. It's just nerve-wracking. You're starting something that you're not sure of. And, right. But, you you know, the hardest part is just showing up. Yes. And so I was like, just give it two weeks. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Give it two weeks. And if you don't like it, then I won't, I will shut my fucking mouth. Yeah. I won't say anything yeah. about you quitting if you still don't like it after two weeks. Right. And it was day two. Yeah. And he wouldn't get out of bed to get to practice. Yeah. He oh, just wouldn't yeah. go. Yeah. And he said he quit. He's not going. He's done. I can't force him. Blah, 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 blah. And then <laughs> I was like, well, I'm working now. Christian's working. Bob's going to school. Yeah. Um, what is not an option is to sit around and do here. absolutely yeah. nothing. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So the least you can do is to get the out of the house. Yeah. And help a lot because I've never ever given him a lot of jobs. Like he just, um, you know, cleans his room. Sometimes I'll ask him to put some waters in the fridge and take out the trash. But yeah. he never has like a, a lot of jobs around the house ever. Right. And it was two days. He, you know, I was like, there's a quite a few things to do because we're having a social worker meeting coming up. And I was like, so the, you know, we need to weed the yard a little bit. He needed to clean out the carport, and I had like given him some fairly big jobs. And yeah. he did not complain yeah. about it, not once. He did it, no questions asked, fine. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, hey, this is good, you know? Yeah. I go to work on Friday, and um, Thursday night, he's like, so what are my jobs tomorrow? I was like, you know, everything's pretty much just done, but um, you need to get up at a decent hour and let the dogs out to pee. Right. Um, make sure you let them out while nobody's home and just do the dishes. Right. Other than that, like nothing. That's it. You're pretty much free from there. Right. And um, at 11, I got off work and he is not answering his phone. He's still sleeping in bed. And I was like, the dogs have not been out to pee, dude. Like, you know, what the fuck? What the fuck? The dishes are not done. You have not even got out of bed. And it's like 1130. Yeah. And so I came home. I wasn't like super mean. I was like, "Hey, dude, it's eleven thirty. You gotta get up, get moving. You know, the dogs haven't gone out yet. You yeah. said you're gonna let them out, and this should need to be done. The social worker's gonna be here soon." And he got up all grumpy, and he slammed his bedroom door. Ooh. And I said, "Zai, please do not slam the doors." Yeah. And he went inside the house, and our house like has like a little glass window on it. Yeah. In the door. And he looked at me and with all of his power, slammed that door as hard oh. as he possibly could, and the window shattered. Oh my gosh! What is that? Yep. Just he's just angry, he's just fucking angry kid. And if he doesn't want to do something, he's not gonna. And yeah. Yeah. Are you so sure? I, is, he, is he doing drugs? Maybe. I mean, because. Oh no. 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 He's. He's kind of a pussy when it comes to that kind of thing, so honestly, oh, which I'm glad for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's yeah, scared yeah. of all of it because of our parents, you know? Like, right. he, he's super scared of anything. Like, he even tells me when he, like, smoked weed the first time or, or hit a, like, vape, you know, right. nicotine right. vape or anything. Like, he's he's pretty open with me. He's scared of a lot of things. Oh, poor kid. He's just yeah. angry. He's got a lot of anger, yeah. and he doesn't like to be told what to do and regular add on regular teenage hormones, and he's been through fucking lots of trauma. And, right. And yeah, so but he, but needs anyways, to, I, he needs to learn to appreciate you because that's oh yeah he's just he that's just and a I big think thing. he'll get there he really will get there I hope so he will. but the social workers told us that like because this has been building up for a while like when he first moved in it was, he had like one big blowout where he threw a cup of ice at me oh man um and I called the social workers and they they made him leave for the weekend and give us a break and we need to not be around each other and it was like a big deal right. Um, and then like a few things, like a few big blowouts here and there, which I'm always telling them, like, as soon as it happens, like, let them know what's going on. Right. And, you know, just like 
I don't know, he gets angry really quick. So there's been a few things, but never anything breaking. Right. Um, and so they said if he ever, you know, hits somebody or tries to hurt himself or break something, you have to call the police. And so was, I was, you know, following the orders that I was told. Right. And the police came and they're like, so what do you want us to do about this? I was yeah. like, well, I'm hoping at the least, you know, yeah, you guys can yeah. talk to him, you know, just tell him what happens in this kind of Scare situation, him. what yeah. what could happen a little bit, you know, like. Yeah. What does what could what it could look like? And they're like, Oh no, we don't do that. Oh bullshit. We don't, we, we don't do that. We don't have to do that. We we don't oh. have to talk to minors if we don't want to. We're tired of being the bad guys. We're tired we don't scare people straight. Like that's not what we do. What? And I was like, you should have said, Okay, pussy, thank you. <laughs> right? That's what I wanted <laughs> that's to what say. You should have said. Like, seriously. <laughs> You're like, This is my brother. He needs a little he needs a little guidance. He needs a little he needs a little fear is what him. he needs. Yeah, I told him, like, the whole story and, like, everything, you know, his dad passed away. I just told him everything. Yeah, like, I took yeah. him in two years ago, and I got a two-year-old, and yeah. he just got some anger problems, and um, they they just they said that, no, they weren't going to talk to him. And I was like, oh, what the what? fuck do you think is worse, dude? You know, yeah. you are a professional to help people ab- abide by the laws. Right. And so he's right. going to take what he i could say the same thing to him that you could say to him and he's going to take it a lot more seriously coming from you yeah absolutely. because it's your job right. you know or i have to be the bad guy and i have to say press charges then, right and i live with this kid yeah and it's not going to help his anger for me very much you know right. right um and uh they just didn't care they're like no we're not we don't we don't you can press charges or you cannot and then they say they have the balls if i could say we advise you not to press charges, though, because, you know, he's he's not a bad kid. He's had a bad life, and um, he's making some bad decisions. And then, thank God, the social worker came up because they had convinced me not to press charges. Yeah. You know, I was like, yeah. no, I, because yeah. they're like, you yeah, know, if, if you do press charges, he's going to get in with the bad kids, maybe go to juvie, and, um, you know, he really will get into the bad kids that way. That's how it starts. And so I was like, oh, shit, you know, I don't want that to happen. Right. And then the social worker came. And she's like, no, I act, I disagree with them. I think you should press charges. It's not your fault, the decisions he's making. Um, right. If this, he were to do this to anybody else, uh, the other they person would. would press charges, right. you know, say right. he was at a workplace and he got angry and he broke something, charges yeah, would be pressed against know. him. Right. Yeah, so he can't grow into an adult and think that this is okay because nothing ever happens about it. And this has been building up for a long time. It's the first reported situation, but it's not the first situation that's happened. Right. Um, and she said, and also, this needs to be reported because if Violet was here, yeah, good thing she wasn't, right. but if she was here, she would have a report against her because at this point, I'm putting her in jeopardy for not doing anything about it. Right. Oh, no. So I was like, yep, that's it. I'm pressing charges. Yeah. And yeah, it what didn't go well. Christian? I told Did him. No, no, not really. Yeah. I mean, Christian's kind of a quieter guy, and I specifically, he gets um, like if he has to get angry, he gets real angry. You know, which he does. It doesn't happen very often. Right. Um, but if he's if you make him angry or say something like, I can take the shit from Zion. Like Zion will call me shoot. Say you stupid dumb bitch, you fucking whore, you don't do nothing for me. Like, and I'll just take it, I don't, you know, right, whatever. Right. He says something like that to Christian, and Christian's gonna flip the fuck out. Yeah. And he's gonna, like, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. And you have to kind of, like, learn to just, like, let things go. Right. And I mean, not like let things go, you know what I mean? Like, well, not yeah. let it go, but pick and choose your battles. Right. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, it's not yeah. worth it to, to fucking fight with him because he called me a stupid whore. Like, I, I can right. let that go. And, um, and also too, because the he you know he was with our, our other sister, uh-huh. and it was really bad domestic violence, and right. and um, Nate is my sister's baby daddy boyfriend, whatever you want to call him. I don't know the situation with them anymore, right. um, but it was really bad. Like you know, Nate tried to be his dad, and he would fucking whoop the shit out of him, and um, it was always a threat. You know, when Nate was at work and Ben was being bad to Sierra, she was like, oh, if you straighten up right now and stop acting, you know, like this, then I won't tell Nate when he comes home so you won't get, you know, whooped. And um, I don't want that kind of relationship for, for Christian and Zion, no, you know? No, like, I, it, sh- it shouldn't ever be, like, a threat or, no, or yeah. no. So I just try to have, like, Christian 
you know, he, he supports me through it. Right. Like he helps right. me to support me through this craziness. And that's really all I need now for him. Right. Right. Cause this isn't his shit. You know what I mean? Like, well, yes, he, kind of he helps he's, take care of them. Yeah. yeah. He could, he's got to, he's got to lighten the low a, a little bit. He could lighten it a little bit by, by inviting him out to uh, a movie or, mm-hmm. or just somewhere that the two of them could bond. You know what I mean? Something yeah. that they both like, like a, a football yeah. game or just something that, because it sounds like yeah. that's what he really needs. He just needs he's I agree. For that kind yeah. of um, manly, you know, someone to step up as far as his dad goes. Which, I mean, like, I mean, poor guy. I just can't even. I just want to take him in myself. It's just like, it's so hard. Mm-hmm. And so fathom you're this young and you're having to deal with these things and you're handling them. Just, you know, grace and just, you know, you, you, you've grown up a little bit. You should have that too. But, yeah, definitely. But I mean, you know, it, it'll all come back to you. Well, it, you know, oh, shit. Oh, I got my intention. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't know you were dead. No. <laughs> I didn't know I was in the corner. I'm just talking. I'm just thinking. I'm like, what the? No, I no. got you. Hopefully. Yeah, but I mean, like that might that might really help. Me. You know. I'm dead anyways. He, he will. It'll come back around though, girl. <clears throat> That's what I was. I was actually had my counseling appointment this morning, and I haven't talked to him since all this happened. And um. Yeah. You know, I was just telling him, like, mostly, like, I'm mostly angry because I feel like I'm not getting the help that I was promised for Zion. Like, I knew, I knew that this was going to be a problem. Like, Zion refused counseling, refused any help, even though I knew that the kid had been through. Yeah. Too much, yeah. I knew that it was, like, going to build up and come out because I'm 26 years fucking old, dude, and I'm still dealing with the shit I went through. Right. right. Um, and well, you're so, kind of having it, to not because you're having to deal with, you know, yeah, really, exactly, too, you know, off, and, right. but that's just kind of what my counselor said, too, is, like, when he, when he does this stuff, and, like, he, um, it, we're both being triggered, because I'm yeah. being triggered by something, and I'm yeah. being triggered yeah. from how he's acting, like, right. it's just, like, oh, calling the cops is, like, the worst thing in my yeah. life, because, like, I you know, I, cops were called all the time when I was a kid, and it was, like, put the whole family in shambles, and everything was a wreck, and, right. oh, it was just horrible, and then, you know, the social worker that came here that day, she wouldn't talk to him either. So nobody would talk to him. Yeah. It was only me. It was all left up to me to try to help this kid who was just angry at me. Right. Well, you know, I wasn't the one that he was going to, you know, willing to sit down and listen to in that moment. Right, right. Right. No, I, I feel that. Hey, well, hell, I'm here every single day, you know. I mean, like, just give him, uh, get him on and let him play with us, and, and I'll and I'll start just bugging him and inviting him more and talking to yeah. him. Yeah. I mean, like, he, you know, he, he needs that. You're right. He needs an outlet. He needs somebody to talk uh-huh. to. Him. And it's not going to be good if he's talking to other little kids that really don't understand. No, he's not talking to anybody. He just follows it all in, and he just listens to his music on fucking full blast. You know what he listens to too is that um, that dancing in the sky, and oh. it breaks my fucking heart, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that's a sad song to listen to in full blast. You know, like fucking banging, dancing in the sky in your room at 15 years old. You know, and he doesn't show any. You have boogers on your arm. Let me see. He doesn't show any emotion. Like honestly, he didn't cry when our dad died. Really? I mean, he might have. He might have, in his own, you know, by himself a little bit. Right. He yeah. just showed absolutely no emotion at the, you know, memorial. All of us were just like fucking, just hysterical. Right. And he's just like stone cold. Yeah. Stone cold face. You know, like. You did, oh, I I didn't get in the match with you if you're in the match. Oh shit! Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. Not even paying attention. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> oh man, that's that's yeah, that's that's deep. That's fucked. That's I mean. real deep. That's that's uh. Well, you know, maybe maybe he did though. Maybe he he. Um, oh, it says you're sitting yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming. Okay. Like um, the counselor's uh, biggest thing is trying to tell me like. You know, he's like, when when is it gonna be my breaking point? Because at this point, I'm I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna, you know, I can't I can't lose my shit too. You right, know, right? And like, right. what? And he's it's like almost like he's trying to get me to the point of like I need to 
I need a boundary for myself and a line that can be crossed to where I'm done. Right. Um, and because like my daughter is being put in jeopardy, right. there's only so much I can do. And in the end, right. he, like I told this design to, I was like, I'm giving you everything and everything you could possibly need to have a successful and healthy life. Right. And in the end, you're going to make the decisions on where you end up. Right. And you could have everything possibly given to you. And, you know, he was angry still at me in the moment. And he, you don't give me shit. You don't give me nothing. You don't do nothing for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this is not, it's just fucked up. But she's just trying to, like, get me to realize that, that it's not my fault right. if it doesn't go How he perfectly. Wants. And right. if he doesn't change right. around, if he doesn't make the good decisions. Right. And it feels like almost like I I failed him. Like I I tried, no. but I didn't. I what I did didn't didn't work for him. No, you know? no, it's working. No, it's, it's working. working. He he's he knows what he's doing, and he knows what you're doing for him. Um, he's just angry. It's just angry. Mm-hmm. It's just he's angry, and and there's so it's so hard to get to that. It's so hard to get to because it's just you're you're not failing him though. You being you you and being as loving as you've been to him, and you know you're you're doing you're doing fabulously. You're doing better than he's ever had. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You really are. I mean, you need to be told that because you really are doing a great job for him. And you like yeah, you are putting your family at risk. You are, but you know, you know him. You know him. You know he's not going to do anything too bad. I hope. I mean. But it, it is that but anger. It, it You're is just going to have to try to get to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say we're supposed to have like a family. I don't know what they call it, like an IAP meeting or something like that, where we just kind of like, you know, get down to the nitty gritty of like what's going on, what can be done. And I told Diane, you know, like we had a good talk the other day. And I was, he, he apologized, actually. He said, you know, I am sorry. I know that how, I, how I've been acting is, is not good. And I know you guys have done stuff for me. And, yeah. I was like, what I just all, you know, all I want from you is to take this seriously. Like when we go into this family meeting with CPS, yeah. I want you to go in there and, and open up. You know, if there is something that you feel like you're not getting, let's talk about it. Right. You know, let's really talk about it because I can I can do everything in my power to try to get what you feel is missing. Right. And right. it's not a meeting to go in there and be like, oh, you did something bad. You're right. in trouble. Right. It's also for me, too. I need to know what to do to help you. And if you don't go in there and you don't say anything and you shrug your shoulders and I don't care, I don't care, it's not going to help anybody. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. And then when he has to show up to court and, you know, explain himself to the judge, I'm sure that's going to be scary. Yeah. But I'm going to be there with him. And, um... If he goes in there and he acts like that, I don't give a fuck, kid, he's yeah. going to get the punishment. You know, if he goes in there and shows, like, I, I do care, I made a mistake, and I want to change, and I don't want to, you know, I want to deal with this anger problem. Right. And, you know, then they'll probably help him. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Um, you got to um, go? No, 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 no. no. I'm, oh. just, I'm just trying to think of a way to... To help, I mean, other than just talking to him, I mean, having someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. But, um, but um, I just, ugh, I just that court thing that scares court me. Thing scares I'm sure it scares yeah. you too. It does. Um, I didn't ever want to have to do that. No, no, I. I but sure my grandma, sure my grandma works at juvenile probation. Yeah. And actually, yeah. when I called my grandma and told her what ha- what happened, yeah, she goes, "Oh my God, Samara, you press charges on him," and I was like, "Yeah, Grandma, like." You know, yeah. don't make me feel any worse. But I had to do what I had to do for right. multiple reasons. Right. And um, and really, like, sorry to be a bitch, but she never ever held her kids accountable. They fucking break yeah. in her house and steal yeah. all of her jewelry, and yeah. she never yeah. ever held her kids accountable. She would hide yeah. it from her husband, and go out and buy another fucking five thousand dollar ring oh, that looks geez. exactly the same, and just try to hide all of her kids' fucking crazy that's yeah that's what that's that's what they always did yeah no and it's not that they were never held accountable for it yeah that's why they kept coming back and still more of a shit because they never did anything about it right right they knew it would just be covered up and only she would know about it and um they could just say sorry and move on with their life you know like it was just and so but anyway she works juvenile probation she's like well I'll find out what judge he's gonna you know go and see and I'll try to just tell her you know his story and and just how try to see if she can, you know, just kind of scare him a little bit in, in court, but be, you know, yeah, 
considerate of his life that he's gone through. Right. Well, you know what? And I was going to say that too. I mean, like maybe you can write a statement um, that before the judge, you know, passes judgment or whatever, just, you know, you get up and read that statement that like, look, this, this is, this kid's a good kid. He, he's been a great, you know, brother. You know what I mean? Just something that makes him feel good about himself. And, and instead of, you know, cause if he does get punished and he's going to be angry, you know, Mm-hmm. But if you state something you like, state I don't really I want him to be punished, I don't want, you know, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, my family, I, I felt like it was the best thing to do. But, you know, I, I mm-hmm. want this kid in my life and I want to be there for him and, you know, mm-hmm. let them know that, you you know, you, you think he's worth, you know, the, the struggling that you guys are going through right now. Yeah, that's real. he's just he's just lost. I can't even I can't even fathom how he feels. I mean, I can't even fathom how you're doing it. I mean, girl, you're you're 26. That's not that's not really. Um, I'm just impressed. I really am. It's, it's hard for you. I'm sure harder for you. Yeah, it is really hard. I do. They say that's hard. I do think that like. What I did, like uh, being a youth counselor, like that gave me so many tools and skills. Yeah. To yeah. like, you know, help me with this right now. Like before, because man, he does push me to my point where I just want to fucking knock my good one. You know, <laughs> so bad. And I got to yeah. take a deep breath and walk away and ignore it and just, you know. Right. And, and this is hard, but I also have to like not let my daughter see me get to that point either. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. She could send you flying, but she keeps, you flying, she keeps you grounded. Yeah. Yeah, having a teenager and a toddler in the house, it's <laughs> it's a fucking fun time here. <laughs> I mean you need to have like a mama's week. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always told them too. I was like, when I get like super upset, and they're just like, you know, Zion's like, "What's for dinner? What's for dinner?" And yeah. I tell him, "What's for dinner?" And he's like, "Oh, that's nasty." <laughs> um, and, then, and then you know, Violet's like, "Mom, I want milk. I want milk." And Christian's like, "Look at my wiener. Look at my wiener." And I'm like, "When I fucking run away, don't not one of you ask fucking why, okay?" <laughs> Yeah, I need a movie about my life. (laughs) Might not be such a bad idea. I would go ahead and start making notes now. (laughs) That's exactly how it is, too. I'm not even joking. That's a daily fucking thing in this house. I believe you. 100% believe you. But I mean, so you could uh, you could seriously make a like a <laughs> good money on a book like that because that's relatable. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit, it's true. Men are silly. They can't they can't keep it together. <laughs> no, he's like seeing everything I'm dealing with. I'm like juggling a bunch of shit. He's like, look at my wiener. Look at my wiener. Have you seen my wiener lately? I'm like, fuck your wiener. You did this, actually. Fuck that. This is all your fault. <laughs> yeah. Violet, don't say that. <laughs> she goes, I just came. I'm just kidding. Oh, just... <laughs> I know, you're just uh, kidding. <laughs> She's just kidding. What did she say? Anyways, wiener? Just... <laughs> no, she was saying, fuck that. Fuck no. that. <laughs> Violet. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, she doesn't oh, keep saying it, it too. <laughs> <laughs> she like thinks she knows it's best. She like covers her mouth and does this little giggle like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh gosh. That's adorable. But when so when her surgery and we Oh, you okay? Uh, what happened? Okay. <clears throat> she just fell over. She's oh. fine. Um, it was two and a half hours. I was like, when can she eat? You know, because she's, she's eating. Well, she likes to eat. And we're, you know, two and a half hours away. Should we stop for food somewhere? And they're like, honestly, she's going to be kind of nauseous and drowsy. And I would just go ahead and drive home. She'll probably sleep the whole way home. But she'll probably be hungry when you guys get home. Yeah. And I so I was starving. Like, we hadn't eaten all day either. Yeah. We get home, and she walks in the house, and her eyes swollen shut. And she's kind of like a oh. little bit drowsy still. And she goes, Mom. 
I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing she said. <laughs> you need to write this shit down, though, seriously. I, I have a little, like, um, that is mom cool. journal book for her that I, like, sometimes write <laughs> oh, stories in. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You can remember when yeah. she gets older. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm fucking hungry. I'm fucking hungry, mom. I was like, I was like, okay, we're ordering pizza right now. Yeah. Oh. Look at my just Look at my wheel. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's that's great. That's classic. Yeah, but as far as Zion goes, just just have him have him uh, when when he's uh, over next or when he's playing next, uh, invite him in. With us. I mean, I had him. Before. I don't know if I, I still might have him. Does he have more than one account? No, he has one, but he doesn't play Fortnite as often anymore. He's been on like uh, Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty a lot. Call of Duty, and yeah. honestly, he's been fucking grounded a lot of the time. Like, yeah, he, you know he'll get grounded and I won't even do the wrestle him to go take his controller or anything anymore for his phone or anything. I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. Cause he used to just give it to me and be like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then he like would like hide it and like, you know, put it in his pockets and he's a grown ass fucking 14, 15 yeah. years old. I'm not, you know, yeah. fucking holding him down, take a shit. Right. I'll just go in my app and turn off his Wi-Fi for his room. And right. man, does he hate that. He yeah. He fucking bet. hates yeah. it. I bet. Yeah. You're you're doing good though by setting boundaries for him because he needs them. He needs them. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's he just does. It's hard. I told him I was like, you know, it's not easy to ground you because then, when you don't have your game or something, you're at my fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. You know, like <laughs> yeah, I'd much I have rather you have it. your game so I yeah. can get you out of my goddamn hair. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, I don't want to ground you. <laughs> You know, don't make me do it. Yeah, yeah please don't. <laughs> You'll just be cool. But I will too. I'll give stop. warning after warning. I'm like, if you don't stop, Diane, if you don't stop, you are going to be grounded. And he just, I call it the case I call the social worker. Like, he gets the case of the fuck it's real bad. Right. It's right. like a, you know, just a case of the fuck it's where all of a sudden he just doesn't give a shit. Yeah. You know, since your grandmother, that that could be very helpful though too. Since she works in the juvenile, maybe she could take him like uh, to an actual juvenile detention center and and let him see what his options are as far as mm-hmm. you know. This is what your anger can get you. This is you know, and let and some of those kids, man. I mean, like I know we went to prison here in high school, and uh, those guys scared the shit out of us. They're like, you don't want to end up here. You don't want this life. He goes, you be, you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> Some of the oh guys, God. they were like, no. <laughs> you know? Damn, that's crazy. Goes, yeah. I, I would take you as my girlfriend. It's basically, I mean, these guys were just straight up in our shit. And I was like, wow, this is, you know. I mean, people are going to learn their own way. It's not going to be because someone yells at them or gets in their face and shit like that. But, you know, they do have those um, military schools that Mm -hmm. that he could go to if if it just starts getting to the point where you can't handle it. You know, Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you might be able to get even funding for it where, you know, uh, through, through, like, GoFundMe or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, well, also my brother, our oldest brother, when he first moved in, and he threw that ice at me. Yeah. Um, and the social workers were—they were on it. They showed right up, you know, within an hour, and they sat us all down and they tried to talk to him, and he was just like, hey, "I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit." Yeah. And um, they were like, "Well, you, you better give a shit because you're not staying here. You're gonna go take a break, and you're gonna—you can choose to go to." Um, a home that we find for you for the weekend, or you can go with your brother, which are my oldest brother, Ryan, he showed up too to come just try to help, you know, resolve the situation. And Ryan's like, you can come to my house, dude, you know, we can come take a break at my house. It's not going to, we're not doing much. We're just chilling. But if you, if that's what you you want, you're welcome to come stay at my house for the weekend. Right. And Zion did not like that because Ryan's a fucking hard ass and he's going to tell you how it is. You know what I mean? And that was so good for Zion. So good for him. Yeah. Yeah. And Ryan moved away to Alabama. 
with his family oh, no. to get out of California because it was too expensive. I know it sucks, dude. And um, and I and I knew like once that happened, I was gonna have no one to call. You know what I mean? No one that was gonna come and be like, "What the fuck are you doing, Zion?" Right. You know, like get it together, man. This is not this is not it for you. Yeah. And um, but Ryan did say that like if it gets bad enough, he's willing to pay plane tickets and send Zion to Alabama and go to school down there for a year if he needs to, oh, because nice. man, Alabama is they're strict, dude. They're really strict. His, yeah, they're yeah. strict. They're not gonna take no fucking shit. Right. Um, his right. stepdaughter McKenna was caught with a um a weed pen in uh-huh. school. And they, for the rest of the year, like six months, they sent her to the, like, it's kind of like, kind of a little bit like the bad kids side of the school. Right. You do, like, what is it called? The ROTC. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's full on fucking strict as shit. You yeah. have to dress down as soon as you can come in your own clothes, but you dress down to what they dress you down. It's kind of like school jail is right. what it is. It is, yeah. What I was getting. Yeah. They don't yeah. fuck around. And if you, and you want to get out of there, you know, you want to not have to be in there. And so if you don't do what you need to do. Yeah. You're fucked. Yeah. That, that's, that's, you know, that's, it might seem harsh, but I mean, like a kid learns, a kid will learn to respect his, you know what I mean? It, um, adults. And it, it does teach them that this isn't how life is. I mean, I've, I've heard the one friend of mine had that kind of situation where he lost his mom when he was real young. He committed suicide. And um, mm. she, uh, he, he ended up going into the military and he swears to this day that saved his life. He's like, you know, he goes, I had no, I had no structure. I had no understanding that I needed to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Military might be military too little too far, be off, too for him, far off for him, but so for now, I mean, well, not really, because he's talked about you know wanting to go in the military or the army or whatever, and he also he wants to be a fishing game or a sheriff. Oh, that's and I told him I was like Zion, yeah. that starts now, you know. Yeah, it, that yeah, starts yeah. with making yeah. just good decisions now. They go all the way back to when you're a kid. You know, yeah. you take a lie detector test and talk about your childhood and stuff. Yeah. And it, that doesn't mean, you know, like, oh, if you're from a bad past and you change to a really good person, you know, but you don't get to, you know, be making decisions like this and get hired into the trainee when you graduate high school. Right. As sheriff, you know, right. you got, you know, right. things on your record and stuff that aren't good. Yeah. Even though you, when you turn 18, your record's sealed, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't even want to tell him that. Yeah, don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm telling him that. <laughs> He'd be like, fuck it. He, need, he needs to, he need, yeah, he needs fear of God a little still to, you know, mm-hmm. keep him, keep him on, on the right, on the right path, but. Well, that's what he said when he apologized to me, and he's like, "I, I do want more for my life than this. I don't want, oh, I don't want it to be like this." And I was like, "I know you do, Zion, and you got, you got a lot in you to go really far in life." Yeah. And I always tell him like, I always tell him he was a lot like me. He's yeah. a lot like me, strong. He's part, you know, big, big hearted, hard headed, which is all good, you know. And um, he told me he's like, "Why is it that you know, sister, not the way she did, and you got your head on straight?" Like you can come from, you know, the same exact family and have right. completely two different outcomes. It's all you take in life, you know. It is true too. Is true. My sister does, is nothing like me. Nothing has had no none of the issues I've had. You know. Yeah. You never. It's just that. Never, it just it know, matters, it, but it doesn't it. at the same time. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it, it matters, but it's all how you how, how you, you take it. it. Right. Mm-hmm. right. And I just chose not I to look at it. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Deal. I'll just do this or that. This or that. Not, to not feel about it. Have no feelings about it. And then. Mm-hmm. And then... Well, that's what I told my counselor too. I was like, honestly, he's like, you know, he he's a good counselor. I really digs in deep and asks questions that like I don't I don't expect coming because it's hard for me. Like I'm I'm a counselor, so I know what the fuck you're gonna say. You know right. what I mean? Right. Like. I know what's coming, what the next question is, you know? So he, he does a good job at, like, stumping me sometimes. Right. Um, and, I, you know, he, he got out of me that, like, damn, I, I am scared, you know? Like, yeah. my breaking oh. point could be coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And if it happens, girl, just come come to Vegas. Come to Vegas. Yeah, I will. <laughs> just get, I'm get out, run away bring too. the baby, and come to Vegas. I'll watch her, and you you can go out and <laughs> go to a spa. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something that just for you. And uh, so like I, I watch my sister break like that, you know, and yeah, and I just watch her slowly just crumble and break. And she, I mean, she had her shit together. She had her shit on straight. She was doing good for her kids and stuff. And I mean, it was the relationship mostly that like made her crumble and the domestic violence and her felt like she couldn't leave and she got all these kids and no job, never worked a day in her life and they were just fucked. And right. I, I did, I watched her crumble like that fast and thick and I never ever thought that that would be her life, you know? And, right. Um, and so I know like, if, if, I know just seeing it so many times, like you are not immune. It right. can happen to you, and you think that you're doing so good and have your head on straight. It can come at any time, you know. Oh yeah. Something can happen, and you you just give up, and you're done, and you're yeah. you're ready to fucking have that whatever drug run away or right. to cover up that fucking pain and and just misery that you're feeling. Like right. it's it's easier than than you think it is. Yeah, it is. So I don't. I like. I am scared. Yeah, I am scared. I don't know. Like I've I've been through fucking some shit and like I'm, i know that it's not over yet either you know right i'm not immune like i don't i know yeah no one is <clears throat> yeah really but i mean you have you have way better dealing skills than um someone most people your age guaranteed no i think that was helpful that therapy mm -hmm. therapy with kids um I've been chasing you around. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> what do you need? Oh, nothing. I just chasing. I don't. I don't know where you go and half the time. But I'm just like. I'm just chasing you. I don't know. <laughs> I went up to the island, but. Oh, you did. Okay. Up okay. There. Good. okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm behind you. Oh, okay. oh. Well, actually, we can jump off and get further on the island. Actually. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I looked up at the map and I was like, she's nowhere near me. <laughs> I was right next to you. No, 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 no. This was earlier when we were talking. Oh, okay. I, when I just get, I just get to run and I don't pay any attention. To oh, I do too. I do too, especially when I'm yeah, talking I like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I left a whole bunch of good stuff here, didn't they? Yeah, they then do you want that AR or um no go ahead there's, 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 there's a right here. Just okay. need a better shotgun and I'm ready to roll bounce. Kid, you need to lay down and take a nap. Oh damn. Twilight Rose. You know what I didn't grab was steels, but that's right. Oh I have I have wheels. I got two of those slurp juices okay. and then I got splashes. But there's people right here. Okay. I'm gonna go over towards like this way a little bit. Okay. Shoot, I need to do my augment. Do they? Oh, I haven't done mine away, either. They give away those fire breath. Uh, um, those oh yeah. Where'd you go? You in this barn? Or 
Yeah, I'm on top of the barn. Oh, yeah. We got one. Yeah. Ooh, we got two people left. <clears throat> I think they're up here to our left. And we got one, we got wait, one, we got one other person behind us, person right? Uh, they were over here, so oh, yeah. oh, right here. Yep, there it is. Ooh. Oh, they're fucking everywhere now. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Dead. Dead. He's right here, running around. He's in. Oh, they're gonna fight unless they're on the same team. We're all here? Yeah, we're all on the same team. You, you get two. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh man, if we had our fucking shit together a little bit more, we would have had that. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> I just think you I know you scared me. I was like, who's picking me up and running with me right now? What's happening? <laughs> that was funny. All right, hold on, I gotta stop real quick because I wanna. Uh, wait, this is. Don't you want to dance with me? Um, I wanted to apologize though for that whole.